My BFI player choice this week is an acclaimed masterpiece which has also become something of a Christmas institution. A film which, like David Lynch's Mulholland Drive, was originally conceived as a TV project, but which went on to draw praise as one of the finest examples of modern cinema. Nominated for six Oscars, it won four. Costume design, art direction, cinematography for Sven Nickvist, and best foreign language film. Indeed, it was only the fact that it was entered for foreign language film that ruled it ineligible for the best film category, in which it may well have had a shot against The Dresser, Tender Mercies, and Terms of Endearment. Settle down for Ingmar Bergman's glorious Fanny and Alexander. Fanny and Alexander is an epic drama following the two titular siblings and their extended family in early 20th century Uppsala. Drawing inspiration from his own upbringing, the film offers poignant autobiographical insights into the creation of Bergman's vivid imagination, an imagination that would come to define an entire generation of cinema. Bergman had conceived Fanny and Alexander as his final project before retirement, the culmination of a career which began with Crisis in 1946 progressed through early funny ones like Smiles of a Summer Night to The Virgin Spring and Through a Glass Darkly, both of which won the foreign language film Oscar, via Seventh Seal and Wild Strawberries, and on to Cries and Whispers, Scenes from a Marriage, and a string of TV movies which would keep him busy right up until 2003's Saraband. Indeed, there is a TV version of Fanny and Alexander, the miniseries clocking in at over five hours and proving essential viewing for Bergman completists. But there's a perfection about the three-hour movie version that's hard to beat. For me, this is all you need. <laughs> 